So I reset the choke on this old girl yesterday. I'm wondering how she's gonna run today. Uh, I'm sure way to find out, I reckon. Oh, you gotta run my battery down or my return signal still work. What's going on here? Headlights still work. Did I yank my battery flying loose when I was messing around with the battery the other day? Look. Hmm. 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 Oh, my, my starter's loose. Look at that. Ain't that odd? Huh. Well, what's going on with that? Huh. So when I put this starter on this motor, I remember there was something about the starter bolts that wasn't right. Uh, I've got this new style starter. And I think the old bolts came all the way up from the bottom and this came up to here. So I had to swap a bolt to put in here, but it was the wrong bolt. And I remember people on YouTube telling me that. And they told me I needed a different bolt and they told me I needed some other stuff. Maybe they made a make a bolt with an Allen head end, but I was able to tighten this up enough to get it to start. So I'll start it and back it out of here. But I'm gonna need to address the starter bolt on this. I don't wanna leave it like that. So that's, yeah, it's just a breakdown waiting to happen like it is. But I think I can crank it and get it out of here. Yeah, as I mentioned before, the choke is okay. I set the choke yesterday because it was wide open, but I'm thinking it's maybe because I set it in the, in the summer. And now because it's chilly, it needs to be set again. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll do some research to try to figure out what kind of bolt I need. Or some of y'all can probably tell me because y'all are smarter than I am. And uh, I'm pretty sure y'all told me before. I do have a bucket of bolts back in there. And I remember seeing one that looked like it would fit. It seems like those bolts have a section that gets larger when they get up in there so that they snug up good into the starter. And see, like I remember seeing that I had some more bolts that might have worked for something like that. Uh, oh, it's almost warmish. I'm actually sweating a little bit. It was 50 degrees when I came out here today, which is pretty good for Maine, considering it was 14 the other morning. Uh, and so I'm just going to take this little trailer, spin it around, back it in here, and... Uh, We'll do the wiring on it, but I got some other work I want to do on it. So maybe I'll do a lot of work on it today. We'll see. We'll see about that. Okay, I want to make a quick little update video. Uh, I went online to the National Auto Parts website and found... Uh, there's my receipt. Prove I didn't stole it. <laughs> I found these starter bolts, and this is what I was talking about about them being uh, different. Uh, they're 
they're designed see how they got that little fat part with the gnarly looking stuff and they're actually designed to reach up in there and uh, touch what they need to touch to keep that starter in place unlike I think the bolt that I found probably was roughly about that long but the, the threads uh, fit but the, it didn't have this expanded shaft and stuff on it which probably helps to line everything up and keep it in place so uh, I will be poking that on here but not today well not not first not right away today because I'm still doing the wiring on uh, on uh, on that trailer so but I did want to show you those bolts because a lot of it would send me a message and say hey buy some of these and I just want to let you know I'm gonna hit and bought some so so there you go I'm fixed as far as that goes okay okay love y'all bye